Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. If I remember correctly, we are done with talking to everyone. Let's just check again. Yes. Hmm. I don't, don't, don't quite understand why, but for some reason I get different results in everything. Then the star end. Regarding this, he told me to go back to this destroyed village to check it properly. So we're gonna do this now. Oh, another dream. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Holton might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. So what should I be doing? Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Holson knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites were merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. What is this sickness? The absolute aims are not yet clear to me. But its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than illicit spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. So, who are you? It's complicated, but I'm an adventurer. Just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now? Through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Tell me where I can find you. No. It isn't safe. The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can. But sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. I'm not convinced. Not at all. Is there anyone who wants to talk with us? Why would I?
Okay, we need target for speeding with that. Okay, there's that, but I want to check something in my spell book. For actions. I don't need to be asked about the missile snaring, I just want it to be done. Wait. Okay, I don't want to be asked about this. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. Whatever as the heart of this cult, we have to find it by any means possible. And while we're at it, we can see how many more of these little worms we can harvest. Now, was there anything else? No. Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the absolute cultist's lair and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us, how far into illithid madness it could drag us. I distrust the visitor too. I'll avoid using this power. Well chosen. Battles are won with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. And there will come a battle. Of that I'm most certain. The one truth that fell out of the dream figure's cankered lips. These dreams linger in my memory. Do you think the strange figure will come back? It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasite served a geith elder. But I believe they serve a greater master still. Hmm. Greater master? Who? What could that be? A question that burns in my belly day and night. Elders and collectives abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. You're not. You wish to speak? Yeah, you're still. Oh, no, oh, never mind. I had another dream last night. The visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet, I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. I would sooner avoid these powers if we can. I feel like we're being led into a trap. Then we do well to walk around it. Use these powers sparingly, if you must use them at all. You should get out of this pact. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. There must be some loophole in the contract that lets you out. There could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. 
He'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. Hmm. I just fear sh what she will do to us next. I'm so sorry to give you another reason to sleep restlessly, but it's my burden to bear. She won't touch you unless there's something there for her to take. Don't give her so much as an inkling there might be. How much farther can I go? Where's Volo? It's been gone for a long time. I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers. The result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. Hmm. Our tadpoles are part of the problem, not a solution. We shouldn't rely on them or their powers. I admire the vigor with which you uphold your principles, but would remind you that the evils of the absolute are far greater than any moral compromise we might make by using our tadpoles full potential your confidence in our existing capabilities is quite rousing though perhaps that spirited enthusiasm will be strength enough to subdue the cult when the time comes maybe hmm I never realized it was so easy to cast magic. I assure you it's not. Don't get me wrong. You did well. The somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. But I was still your conduit. To perform such a feat alone requires much and arduous study. Yet it is life's most worthy pursuit in my impartial, if not humble opinion. I was wondering, that condition of yours, why does it require magic? Think of it as... tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. An eruption the size of Waterdeep, I think my exact words were. Hmm. I was wondering about the mighty lord you told me about in your story. Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable, to be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel, and with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost, and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral. The end of Carsus and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. So at that moment in time, all magic was gone. For a spell, Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. 
If you ever feel the Nefer's magic overtaking you, what will you do? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. So, what did you think about what I picture when we were connected by the weave? Oh, I was surprised. But pleasantly so. Just like I said. Amid the madness that has befallen us, it seems almost out of place to think of a romantic walk. And yet, now more than ever, it's important to recall what makes us human. Well, you know what I mean. A stolen glance, that sudden heartbeat. Sometimes the little things are worth more than kingdoms. They promise things to come. Okay. I like talking to them. It's refreshing. Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. Hmm, we will need to be discreet. Hmm. I'm not sure if we can use these tadpoles for good before extracting them, it could be worth it, but this feels like a trap. Agreed. A bit of shiny armor doesn't impress me that much. I don't want to get taken in by a pretty offer and pay the price later on. Mizora said you fit the criteria to will for will to hunt. What did she mean? Help me kill those paladins of Tear, and I'll tell you a bit of good gossip for your good help. You and Mizora seem to age, know each other. We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice. Me, by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. I can see why you were so keen to escape. No kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. It had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. So... About our tadpole powers. You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more lithid into the mix? Well, what can I say? You look fine, smell fine, seem fine. If you got a little boost from the tadpole, in fact. Oh, okay, right. Um, got any going? Thanks, soldier. Um, Why are wait, we wait, 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 wait. Uh, who am I willing to? I think we'll exchange her shadow heart for her. I had another dream, which I suppose means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the absolute, but wants us to embrace the tadpole, venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector, or we're walking into a trap. We should join you separately for now. I'll look for you here if I need you again. If you're sure. Fine. I'm sure. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. <laughs> Carla, you're going with us. Oh, now I'm Why carrying it. Down? Uh, come on. Fuck yes. I'd love to, thanks. So le let's level you up. Oh, barbarian. 
Okay, you get the Angel Sense. You sense when things aren't as they should be. Create an Reckless Attack. So you are Wild Heart. You get Rage Heart and you can speak with animals. Choose to boost your heart, you can change your heart when a level up. Bear heart. While raging, you can use unrelenting ferocity and have resistance to all damage except psychic. While raging, you can use divine strike. Ooh. Foes also have disadvantage on opportunity attacks against you and you can use that as a bonus action. Elk. While raging, you can use primal stun feet and your movement speed increases by 4.5 meters. Tiger Heart. While raging, you can use Tiger's Bloodlust and jump your distance. Ooh. Wolf Heart. While raging, you can use in Inciting How and you always have advantage on melee. Right. Okay, so I think I'll take. What's around Link Ferocity? Healing. Okay, I'm giving you the player Heart. Bear Piercings. Eagle pi Piercings. So as I understand it's all of them on the face. Hmm. Sure. A new feat for you. Let's see, maybe a fleet. Torture. Yeah, profession with medium armor, I understand. No, 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 you don't need proficiency. Savage attacker, I like that. Okay, what do you have? You have 10 armor class. It's just a clothing. You are proficient in medium armors and shields. You are using two-handed weapon. Okay, now what I uh, like I said to me, I want to go back to the blighted village, but first things first, I'm really curious about this front. Oh, barely holding together. So if you don't mind, would you like to hit it? Hit it? Immune to slashing. And you also do slashing. No one back home will ever believe this. All right. Um, good camp. I forgot to take your weapons. Don't waste a step. Can I somehow check everyone's equipment? 
examine? No. What's inside? This I can't just. have to change it all the way around. and oh and she has lots of stuff okay Karlak for now you are staying in the camp hmm? yeah, I'm sorry really? Really, really? yes yes oh, fine I'll be here eating dirt or whatever I'm sorry just for a little moment and while I'm a while I'm at it Let's level up all those guys as well. Might as well. Yep. Uh, oh, you. Stimulating company. So you don't want to leave the camp. Okay, great. Um, at your I would like you to try me. Yes, because I want to level you up. Maybe that will influence some of the stuff you can talk about. I have no idea. Spells. Uh, let's give you a witch bolt. So why not? I'll touch invocation. Oh my goodness. This speech. Oh. Uh, I can cast mage armor on yourself at 12 other things as spells. So that sounds great. Mm, you can invoke by patrons bewitching charm again, proficient in deception and persuasion. You can see them in darkness. Yeah, that's not really. You can, you can cast false life on yourself at the. At will at the level one spell without expanding a spell slot. Gonna have this one with shadows. Ooh, that sounds nice as well. Good. Yes, and he does not choose his. Okay, I think they are choosing patrons at the beginning. Darkness. Oh, it's so nice. Also, should mention that this is magical darkness. Pact of Chain. Gain the service of a familiar, a face period that takes a form of your choosing. This can be an animal, imp, or quasit. Blade. You can summon a pact weapon or bind the one you are wielding, making it magical. Mm, Pact of Tome. Your patron grants you a called the Book of Shadows. Draws it because guidance, vision, or current tone weapon. Yes, as we already seen. Vicious Mockery is useless so far. Because apparently every creature in Faerun can has wisdom high enough to counter it, so this is great. And Okay, I actually think cold person might be useful. Mm. Something about the mage. Little custer. Which one? Speak with the dead. Find familiar. Long strider. Oh, that's okay. Enhance sleep. This guy self and speak with animals. Okay, that's interesting. Um, maybe let's give you skilled. Oh, Warcaster, yes. You can advantage on saving force to make a consideration on a spell. You can also use re reaction to cast Shocking Grasp, only Shocking Grasp, at the target moved out of melee range. Okay. Well met. Yes, now I want you to stay. Are you sure? Yes. The blade. Yes, danger. stay here. Um Gail, now your turn. Tell me, what can I do for you? Jenny. With Yes. Maybe they'll be useful later. Let's see, dark vision. 
arcane lock. Close the door or container with magical lock. It can no longer be locked or open with knock. Hmm. Oh, that sounds nice. It's for, it's for tame turns. Sure. Detect faults. Well, you can't have it. Hmm, not sure. Let's see. If the list of your prepared spells. I really like Ice Knife. But I find okay. Blur. Okay. So many things. Um. Hmm. Let's go for Blade Ward for you. Also, you will learn Enlarge Reduce. <gasps> will that affect our ability to walk through those small holes? and one feet um. maybe mage slayer <laughs> okay. also I'll give you skill oh because I'm not giving more points in one Let's give you more to int. No, I don't think it will matter. No, I can do it like this. I never remember if it changes every odd or e every even number. I do enjoy our conversation. Okay, I question the wisdom of that decision, I... but so be it. I'll no, be give me a moment, okay? I need to speak to Shadowheart, take Maybe her equipment. Oh, equipment. It's really... Can I really not take... No, which is a shame. Shah's blessings upon you. Mm, All right. Because now Next. I can go through her equipment. And give someone everything she's wearing. What wings do you, keys do you have? Okay, I don't think I'll need those anymore. But I do need your hammer. And two shoes. Breathing, I don't know why it's made in such a way, but I mean, I could have made it so that she comes with us, open the door, wall. But I really want to go through her story a bit more. Are you proficient in? I should have checked that earlier. I think you are. Great. Okay, so as long as you are wearing light and arm on defense, okay. So we'll leave those shoes off for now. Okay, so now we can leave the camp. And now you can hit it. And you hit hard. Do you have anything? Uh, Searing Smite. You can speak of animals and run things for our city. Mm -hmm. uh, Passive Sally. Total non lethal attacks. Okay. That's what we can do. Looking for anything more. Until. No. 
Why not? Uh, okay. Never a dull moment. Let's save. And let's go. Sussman will be in the shrine now. Oh my goodness. Kill the chesty. There's still some guys alive. Yes, they are downstairs. Oh my goodness, this is so laggy. Oh my goodness, really? Give me a little moment. Okay, hopefully it will be working properly now. Oh, another chesty. And there was a way up here. <laughs> Who's way too big? Let's not treat um anymore. Okay, but I think this is all we can get here. Here we go. I think. Now let's continue our adventure here. What happened to the chicken? Sure, sorry, but I am fairly sure. Oh no, there's two of them. Yeah, I was thinking that art was really damp enough to be my enemies. Apparently, yes. Do you have any? No. Can be more accurate. Can you shoot them? Office interrupted. Can you cast something over there? Target out of sight cut. I hate this so much. I think they should be dead. Yeah, so there's that. If not over, then through. Ooh, there's some nice paintings. Oh right, um and this To be fair, you had a choice. I didn't see the chicken anymore. Hmm. Did you guess? Never mind. Okay, what about you two? Come on. We won't know. Probably something hidden in here. Okay, so I think that's all here, although I see some places we in theory could go up here even higher. Mm. Okay, but let's leave that for now. Let's go back to the village. Before I forget to check out every house. Shouldn't nature be beautiful and serene? 
It looks so nice in the upper city parts. Upper oh, city, huh? Swish. Never spent much time there myself. There's someone talking here. If we survive this Ooh. bug's banquet. The letter is filled with cultivation instructions for a range of medicinal plants. One entry is underlined. Deliver a specially requested plant to the seller. Keep away from prying eyes. Thanks. Mm, I don't see one. I see one. The seller? Poison. Poison. Portion of healing, great. Some interesting girls over here. That might be worth a look. What? Curse to put my hands on everything. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, I'll go there in a second. Patient Samson, occupation blacksmith, melody gout. Goman, Samson become accustomed to the good life since he's acquired a new apprentice. I gave him a tincture of autumn crocus and told him to avoid red meat and ale. Branley, Cooper, large wood splinter in hand. Splinter removed, wound clean, doused in balsam ointment and bandages. They make occupation known as child sold bottle cork. No hardness or blockage in stomach, the cork should pass without causing harm. I gave the lad a stern warning. Dida, apprentice blacksmith, minor burns to the face and hands. Another burn at Samson's eager young apprentice. The usual treatment was applied, but I urged her to slow her pace at work before she inflicts severe harm on herself. Oh, this small recipe helped me a lot. Without my scales, my height smarts and tears with the slightest touch. Well, it will, has never healed me fully. Every drop suits. I hope it may seem suit whatever I ails you. Mm, someone has filled the rest of the page with repetitions of why is it always healing potions? This goddamn primitive village. And the occasional someday I'll kill that mongrel of a master. Luckily, the recipe itself is so most legible. Salt of rock, small soil suspension, marked brass, method. Steer the suspension until a vortex forms, carefully dip in the salts. Keep staring until the salts dissolve and the solution takes on red hue. Keep in mind, when in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Fries the same ingredient, form an extract excellent. Extract excellent. Okay. Large bottle, I don't think we need that. No potions. Red linen, peladona, ooh. Ooh, 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 I need those. See, I'm fairly... Oh, suspicious of poison. Might be useful. Uh, I'm always slow on... Ingredients... Nope. Nothing in pile of books. Okay. So no traps, please. Input. That's all, that's all. Okay. Let's go forward. Why do you save here? Coffins. Oh, hi. Okay, we are surprised. Great. And I just turn away a cleric who could turn undead. Can you do some great things? Not enough movement, really. Wait. It can look like this. Mm. 
Shut down those two. Close enough. I cannot really hit him. Prepare. Oh, oh no. Why would you la lacerate him? Just a simple attack will be enough. I hope. Ooh! That's what was the survival for. Oh. So I did not get close enough to him. Let's not open any more caskets. Hmm. Can I? Thank you. Let's take that book. As soon as the girl got of wizards all who spend their whole lives learning, he grants their spells both big and small for Mistra always yearning. They and the tyrant, the black hand, make sure the strong rule. He spreads his darkness through the land, praised by the harsh and cruel. The Shaba will bring forth you, for you doom, unless you chant her prayer. Split from the Mora in the womb, she brings bad luck to spare. Okay. Mm, is it any better? No, not really. Oh, oh, you little... Okay. He leveled up. New class feature. Uncanny dodge. Use the lightning click reflexes to protect yourself when an attack hits you. You only take half the usual damage. Yes, I would like to change the chromatic orb for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mage armor, you have high dexterity, so yes. And you're gonna cast right away. Fire spells. Can't have armor. Oh, then. How much of it do you have now? Is it not? Fourteen or well, that's better. Stayed interesting. Never wanted the easy path. More for me. Can it be something up here? Hmm? No. Okay. Go back here. To an ornate mirror. This goes. Mirror, mirror, tell me true. What is your name? Magic mirror, tell me true. Show my fortune, known by few. Your mirror is not amused. Okay. Might not be the time. Oh, and you? It's uncooperative. This is futile. Wait. What the hell? Oh. Um. Can you by any chance jump down here? Yes, you can. Don't do that again, please. Thank you. <laughs> I 
Welcome to Baldur's Box. Today, an infinitely opening coffin. Got it. Yes, I know it hurts. I'm sorry. How far enough? Ish. can jump further so for her it's fine. Can I destroy this thingy? No. It just moves on its own. Oh, there, there was another one. First, wait. There wasn't another one. I'm confused. I was sure this one ran away. I to do that. Tactical. Not this one, but let's try cutting off their way. as an enemy so jump up here no, there's... can you shoot them Let's try this. Simply because I am goddammit interested in how it will work. Thank you. Okay, let's get up here. A short rest. Enough time wasted. Battle awaits. Yeah, sure. Can we do something about it? Oops. No. Zaztan. 
Hmm. It's a foul, wretched creature. Tell me, why might one use balsam ointment? I read Doctor's journal. He used balsam to clean a wound. Acceptable. Finally. If you could see anything in me, what would it be? Nothing good tends to come of ambition in stars like this. I would see you free. No. This is my purpose. I know nothing else. No. But you cared to us. No others ever did. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Are you welcome? Thank you. A low guarded laboratory. What were they hiding down there? Is cool for that. Oh, basics. Oh, books. The books is filled with pages and pages of observation, tracking of travelers and people in the village. You turn the, the final page. Uh, 26 LACs. Oliver Sand arrives in Moonhaven the past next day. Kali Shade. A uh, stranger, name unknown, passes through, not tie in. Three men in black armor pass through Nathan. Hackett journeyman passes through Nathan. Raid. Black armored soldiers. Some damage. Not fair, but dangerous. The book's key gem has gone missing. Familiar order to watch my apprentice. Saint passes through. Doesn't stop. Familiar reports apprentice disappeared. New well. Will observe. So we need. Uh, you turn page after page filled with strange alchemical sketches and formulae. Some are written plainly, some in runes and scripts you barely recognize. There are guides to transmutating metals and recipes for weapons of war. But more than anything else, the book is concerned with reanimating dead flesh. Um. Here goes nothing. Trap. Be cautious. Yes, so please, if you mind this armor. Traps. How considerate. Even more traps, okay. Yes, please. Racers of defense. Become the bulwark. You gain a plus two bonus to armor class as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. Oh, actually. Those would be great. For you. And as I can see, we leveled up. Not as bad as it could have. Okay, let's see. New spell. Plant growth. Make weeds burst from the ground and smooth the area. Creatures moving through the weeds have their movement speed quartered. Curse creature with touch. The curse either bestows disadvantage on checks and saving throws or attacks. Mm, fear. Feign death. Glyph of warning. Hypnotic pattern. Speak with death. Thinking well. <laughs> as many as possible of the spells that are working until the long rest of water. From what I can see, there's not that many of those. And it won't be written in the, down here. Scrap a circle of arcane lips on the ground. When I step on by enemies, it won't go effort will trigger.
Let's take this thinking cloud and learn flame blade. Hmm. And let's see, what, what do I want to replace anything? Is there any reason for me to change? Speak with animals from level one to level three. Do we do we have? I like those spells for now. Oh, enough waiting. I crave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can extra attack. Ooh. After making an unarmed weapon attack. Okay. That's great. And you? That hammer looks so small with her. Extra attack, fast movement. Okay, and I need to give you some other weapon. This is 200. Yeah, I need to give you something new. Like, no, never mind. Something. While well, the number of trinkets and bargains a hag personally acquires means that her power will be unique compared to that of her sisters, hags as a whole can still be divided into three subcategories. Night hags, named as such for their ability to haunt a mortal's dreams, slowly devouring a vital essence until the victim's soul can be trapped into a hag's soul bag. They are known for being petty, selfish braggarts. Sea hags, known for devouring their victim's whole. Sea hags can terrorize and kill with a single look. They reek of fish and are incapable of making a proper cup of tea. That's strangely... Okay. No, but this cup of tea just threw me off. Green hugs, they are beautiful, they are powerful. Speak not a word against them. I... she was green. Beautiful, I don't know. Powerful, maybe. Something good here, I hope. This one. I suppose they seek to silence me, believing that an artificer of the High House will not stoop to publish in any volume outside of the great Cordian journals they so diligently guard. But they forget that I am not so grand. Before I lent my name and my knowledge to the High House of Wonders and all the marvels therein, it was not but a lazy farm girl who liked to look up. And that was how I first saw them. The slow and serene earth modes, entire mountains migrating through the sky above. It was later I learned of their origins, of the ancient Netherese empire that fashioned them, of the residual magic so potent in sus it sustained them still. The wizards of Netheril carved marvels out of the mundane, lifted the earth aloft for industry, for sport. It was later still, after I earned my place at the High House, that I learned of the long shadow material cast along the evolution of our craft, that their great flying cities fell in folly and flames does not diminish the wonders they wrought, and this stubborn aversion to studying them, to learning what they learned, is the very antithesis of Kant's teachings. Yes, Many of the catastrophes inflicted upon the centuries were fruit born of meddling with Netherese seed. Yes, their last shining bastion fell into shadow, their lore twisted to show us dark and destructive designs. And yes, I say again, whether the High House will sanction it or no, to study the very flame of creation is worth it, even should the fires consume us. Not a mugworth. And hmm. don't mind if I do. Wait, where does that lead? Where's that key? Oh. That looks familiar, I, although I don't know why. Seems 
seems simple enough. Yeah, and if I understand correctly, this will unlock. Okay, Astorian, it's your turn now. Traps. How considerate. Please disarm it. He fails at one. And the other one? You don't see it either. Okay. Let's get going. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. A cursed book. How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. Please don't open the creepy book. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? Why? Okay, let's take it. Uh, if you want to oh, I love you by any means, carry it. Wait, was it? It is not too late. book is locked tight with no visible you try to examine the book but you feel the darkness radiating from the book it's delicious a cursed book please don't open the creepy book will i tell something no okay can you examine somehow mm, yeah i can then i come and say fair and that's all the fate, the we oh, the red wizards. We are in the house of someone who had the book of the red wizards. Well, that's not good at all. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, no wonder it looks familiar with. Let's see. Make the circle. Smell that. Fresh forest air. I smell only fear. The fear of cows lying in wait for an ambush. Oh, you can take a day off once in a while, Lazel. I do not take days off. I'd even forego sleep if such a thing were feasible. The one advantage an elf holds over a Githyanki. House of Fire, Dawn of Palandin. Oh, there's more goblins here. Garbage. Wait, are, will they be willing to talk? Yeah, far from the camp. Come on. It's claimed, right? Keep your paws to yourself, and I won't cut them off. Okay, understandable. Anything of use? We did it already? Maybe. I do want to fall in. Actually, we are level 5, so we sh in the theory should be able to... If you want to keep your inside... Okay. 
Inferior should be able to uh, take on the spider mage shark. In theory. Just enough. Oh, haste helm. And the sort of combat that we're going to be for three turns. Oh. Give that to her. Nice. I want to say that it doesn't look half bad, but it looks horrible, but mm, there's one more thing I wanted to check. Uh, since we can also examine the tracks by themselves... Huh? Come on, guys, I believe in you. There was the swine here. This one. Can you examine it? No. Can't pick through, so. I wonder. Okay, never mind. No time to rest. <sighs> so let's go to the well. Let's try our forces against the sp spider. I guess that's. One of the things we can do right now, I really should go for the paladins as well. But we'll do tomorrow. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!